Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations, marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday, peace be upon him, with the leaders of Arab and Islamic countries. His Majesty the King extended congratulations to the leaders of Arab and Islamic states on this occasion, wishing them good health and happiness, and more progress and prosperity for their countries and peoples. He wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries, marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday, peace be upon him. His Royal Highness wished the leaders good health and happiness and more progress and prosperity for their countries and peoples. He wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries, marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday. Peace be upon him. His Royal Highness wished the leaders good health and happiness and more progress and prosperity for the countries and peoples. He wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalif bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received US Defence Secretary Mark Esper and his accompanying delegation. The Defence Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Noemi, BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Saga Al Noemi, Defence Affairs Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended. The BDF Commander in Chief healed the decades long bilateral ties and continued cooperation in all fields, especially the military field. The meeting focused on means of further strengthening steadily growing relations in all fields to serve the common interests of the two friendly countries and people. The BDF Commander in Chief discussed with the US Minister regional and international issues, stressing the continued military coordination and defence cooperation between the two friendly countries to support the pillars of security and stability in the region. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Faisia Zanal, met remotely with the President of the National Assembly of Turkmenistan. The two sides discussed means of bolstering parliamentary cooperation and forming a friendship committee between the two countries' councils. Zanal affirmed the representative council's keenness on dedicating all efforts and utilising all resources to activate parliamentary diplomacy in support of national plans aimed at broadening economic openness. This decision seeks to support the march of development and reform under the leadership of His Majesty the King. She also praised the distinguished level of the Bahraini Turkmen relations and their continuous development in all fields. She affirmed the importance in strengthening bilateral parliamentary efforts to achieve the goals of the MOU signed between the two countries. For her part, the President of the Turkmen National Assembly praised the development of bilateral relations to further strengthen cooperation at all levels. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia Zanal, received the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Nayef Al Hajraf, and his accompanying delegation, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. Zanal affirmed that the joint GCC march is full of political and economic achievements in light of the unwavering support of GCC leaders. She lauded His Majesty the King's keenness to support joint GCC action to meet the aspirations of GCC countries and their people, as well as to strengthen the pillars of security peace and stability. She stated that current circumstances require concerted efforts, unified stances and exchange of experiences and expertise to increase the GCC country's capabilities in combating the pandemic and its mitigating its impact. Dr. Lal Hajarif lauded the steady progress made by the Kingdom as well as its distinguished achievements in addressing COVID-19, which has contributed to protecting the health and safety of the local society. The Speaker of the Representatives Council also met remotely with the President of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who submitted to her the NAO's 17th Annual Report for the year 2019-2020. to Zanel stressed that protecting public money and strengthening the administrative system in the state's institutions is a joint national responsibility. 
She affirmed the keenness of the Representatives Council to back the national efforts to boost the state of law and institutions by activating all constitutional tools and exercising the monitoring and legislative rules. She stressed that the Council will deal with the report according to legal procedures. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rash bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met with the GCC Secretary General Nayef Al Hazraf in the presence of the Chief of Security, Tarek Al Hassan, and Assistant Secretary General of Legal Affairs at the GCC, Khalifa Al Fadl. The Minister welcomed Dr Al Hazraf and praised the active participation of the GCC General Secretariat in developing Gulf cooperation in security sector and in following up on the decisions of the GCC Interior Ministers. Various security matters were discussed during the meeting, along with other topics of mutual interest. Dr Al Hajraf expressed pride in meeting the Minister and praised the efforts of the Ministry of Interior in maintaining security and stability in the Kingdom. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, participated in the 75th Council of Arab Ministers for Social Affairs, which was held virtually and was chaired by the head of the current session of the Council and the head of the Council's Executive Office, Jordan's Minister of Social Development. Bahrain's participation is a part of its duties as a member of the Executive Office, alongside seven other Arab countries, with responsibilities to prepare for the meeting's agenda and follow up on the Council's decisions. Various issues have been raised for discussion during the Council's upcoming meeting in December, along with various initiatives that have been put forth by the members of the Council in an effort to contain the COVID-19 pandemic and its social and humanitarian effects. For his part, Jamil Hamidan affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness on supporting joint Arab efforts and its solidarity with its fellow Arab countries as they execute their social development programmes as per the objectives of the Sustainable Development 2030. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, held a meeting with the Secretary General of the GCC, Dr Naif Al Hajraf, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. The two sides discussed the efforts exerted by the GCC General Secretariat to promote joint Gulf action, as directed by their Royal Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries. They also followed up on the results of the relevant ministerial committee meetings that were held during the current session of the GCC in addition to reviewing the vital interests of the GCC countries. Both sides emphasise the importance of strengthening cooperation in light of the political and security developments in the region, as well as the pandemic. The Kingdom of Bahrain is joining the Arab and Islamic nations in celebrating the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This occasion is an opportunity to draw inspiration from the noble Prophet's morals and teachings of spreading the spirit of tolerance, peace and rejecting extremism, violence and, and terrorism. The anniversary of the Prophet's birthday is a religious occasion that the Islamic world annually celebrates to remind people of the rich biography of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his virtues and noble morals. The Ministry of Health participated in the Health Minister's Council for the Gulf Cooperation Council States, which was held virtually. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Walid Al Mana, and the Under Secretary of Public Health, Maryam Al Hajri, represented Bahrain at the meeting, where the achievements of the Council were discussed and steps towards further cooperation in the field of public health in order to further develop the field in the GCC countries. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,008, with 276 recoveries, 257 registered new cases, and one death. 88 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 160 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The deceased was a 65 year old male citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible. <laughs>